Welcome to the Baja Board Factory Tour. In this video, we are going to have a look at how boring piece of metal become our awesome board. The size of the factory is 1,500 square meters. In this facility, we have office space where we do engineering and procurement. We have machining right behind me where we do all our parts in-house. And we have assembly area where we actually make and assemble all our boards. Each of these machining is used for different parts, but most of the parts that we do in here are for the mainframe and for our G4 and S2 boards. Otherwise, some parts are outsourced. Most of the parts are made here because we can make this a lot faster. We can control the material and make sure the material is the best that we can get. And mostly because we can keep improving all the way how we make all the parts and the production and the manufacturing of each component. We are going to take advantage of our work at lunch, so it is a little bit quieter and we can show you more in details where each part are made. For example, here we have the screws that hold the dampers. So it comes from a, a single long screw, then we machine it and we create the shape that it is to stiffen the dampers. Over here instead we have the, the, the part that holds the shocks in our G4 and G4X and S2 uh, board. To keep walking over here instead we have uh, uh, the actual part that uh, holds the turning spring. So as you can see this is the final uh, product, the final component and this is how it's in the process of being machined. So it's all a big part then it will be machined and then it will end up looking like this. Then as the next part uh, uh, over here we have uh, all the pulley. So pulley for G4X and S2 are the same. As you can see, these are all done. And on the other machine, instead, is where we make all like the long and round parts. For example, the drive shaft. And this particular drive shaft is a G4X uh, uh, drive shaft. And if you keep walking, uh, we can see again uh, uh, the machine that is making the 10 inch alloy wheels. It's a big part, it, at the moment it's quite heavy, but it will get and will look very good once it's finished. To keep walking, we are also going to see the out drive. So this is the actual part that uh, connects to the drive shaft and it connects to the actual drive train and everything. So this is where it comes out from the pulley. Here we have the bulkhead, which is just um, being uh, uh, welded. And now they will just uh, sandblast it uh, and check all the weld points and then it will go for painting. In this part of the factory is the bench work. So here is where more the small parts and the refinements of the even the bigger parts are made. So for example here, uh, the worker is doing uh, the hole for the part that actually is going to hold the turn spring. So this is the top part. If we keep going to this table instead, we will see there is the steering arm. So the worker here is making the threads for the actual steering arm, both sides. If we keep moving, uh, we'll see how the working instead here installing the bearing for the pulley. So this part is both uh, shared for the G4 and S2 uh, chassis. And as a last but not least important, instead is the uh, check of uh, uh, the bulkhead. So this is a very critical component. Uh, it needs to be polished uh, for the, from the welds so it will look good and make sure that the welds also are strong. And also the corners, they are rounded, so in this way, when the power coated gets uh, attached, it will not chip off uh, uh, as easily. Now that we have had a look of the factory floor, we are going to check the office space. In this building, we have different departments. So for example, on my left, uh, there is the procurement department. Instead, on the right and at the back, there is the production and techno department. So let's start uh, from the production department. What in this room is happening is that uh, uh, the engineers are creating the process uh, for the workers at the factory floor for programming the machine. At the same time, they are also checking that all the drawings match the specification. And this is what exactly John is doing with the bulkhead. 
In this room, we do the procurement, purchase order of all the materials and off-the-shelf parts that are in our boards. There is heaps of parts in a single board, so we have a huge list uh, and this department is very important to keep the stock and make sure that we never run out. Not all the parts are made in-house, so some of the parts are outsourced and the first thing when they get delivered here, we place them in this space where we can count them and then, for example, here we have a charger, we just count them and they can go straight into the stock. In case we need to check them, the first thing that will be moved to this table where we'll do the visual inspection. One of the most important steps when we manufacture a part is making sure the tolerance is right. This is a controlled environment room where the temperature is kept over the same level. And the reason is that because the tolerance can change based on the temperature. One of the very important steps of the manufacturing is also making sure the material that we use is strong enough. So here, for example, we have three different steel pins that we use in the drive shaft. And we found that a few years ago, we had problems with uh, steel not being strong enough. So we use one of these machines that pretty much what it does, it will put pressure in each of these pins. So in this way, we can see when is the break point. Another really important part uh, of the manufacturing process is making sure the material that we use is the correct one. So firstly, it needs to be legit. So if we specify 6061, it must be 6061. Sometimes uh, you can find different mix with different material that uh, it makes the alloy a lot softer or brittle. So what we are doing now, we want to make sure that the material is the correct one. So let go and check it out. As an example, here we have a block of alloy that we use to make our wheels. So this is what it looks like uh, raw material before it gets machined and uh, uh, worked. And this is pretty much, once it's finished, where it's come from. So as you can see, this is a big block and there is a lot of work into making this part. Separate to our factory, we have an office space where we do sales and marketing. We lodge also most of our patent and CE certification that we require to sell our boards. Some of these are displayed in the entrance of this office, for example, the CE and the FCC certification. Down here we have the design patent and here we have the um, innovation patent. Now let's walk in and see how everything is inside. In this space, we also have reminders of what we achieved in the last six years. Here at the back in 2013, it's when we proved the concept of the Baja board. Uh, 2014 is when we established uh, Baja board. 2015 is when we did the first 50 units uh, in production in Australia. 2016 over here is when we re-engineered the uh, G4 that everyone knows uh, to be more production friendly. 2017 is when we signed the first uh, dealers in Europe and uh, USA and 2018 is when we established uh, the factory that we are showing you in this video. In this section of the factory, there is the pickup area. Today, instead of picking up a board, we are going to do an unboxing. So let's check it out what's inside when you receive your board. As the first thing, obviously, you can see the massive board, uh, in this case, the G4X. Uh, and uh, you will see there is uh, two boxes. Uh, one, there is the controller, the manual, uh, stickers, and a few little things. Uh, and the other one, instead, there is the charger. On the sides, usually we put the uh, wheels. If you have two sets of wheels, uh, it will be strapped somewhere else. Uh, otherwise, they are here on the side. In this nice box uh, with our logo, you will see there is the remote and the manual. And also, we'll give free stickers to anyone that got a board, so you can stick them wherever you like. Uh, there is the manual for the actual board and the controller and there is a manual for the shocks. Then if you keep opening, we have the controller and the charging port for the controller. In the second box, you find the charger uh, that will work for 110 or 220 volts and it will come with the right plug for your country. And then as the last thing, there is the wheel that uh, depending on the option that you choose, will come the 10, like in this case, or the, uh, the 8. Now that we've seen what is inside the box, let's actually go into the exciting part and get out the board. And that's all for the Baja Board Factory Tour. I hope you find the video interesting. 
and I also hope you learn a lot more how much effort there is to put these little bits together. And we are so happy to finally have set up a full production running. It was a lot of work to get where we are and we will have many years ahead where we are going to keep growing and we're going to keep making more awesome boards for our customers. We are also very thankful to everyone that's supporting us all along the way. Good. <laughs>